Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Last of Us. Uh, it's been about a week since I've gotten to sit down and play this game, which is sad because I've been thinking about it non-stop. And uh, I've been doing some renovations in my computer room, so I haven't had my PC set up and it's been a big hole in my life, but we're back and I'm super stoked about it. So, uh, let's get into it here. We've got a bunch of infected to deal with. I'm guessing that fatter infected is one of those bloaters. Uh, how am I doing for... Okay. I've got three of these things. I got three of the nail bombs. I have my flamethrower, which is also cool. This is gonna be tough. Let's see here. I'm thinking I may as well just... I'll try to throw a bottle first. Get them all to be like, what? And then I'll just try to light them up. Oh, yes. Watch them burn. Oh! Okay, here comes the bloater. He doesn't know where I am yet, so that's a good sign. Oh, that was a little bit off. Oh, he's hurting those guys. Okay, I'm gonna have to, uh... I don't want him to spot me, so... I'm gonna try to keep him distracted as much as I can. And then I'll use the, uh, the flamethrower on him. I think that'll suit him nicely. Alright, since we're out of this stuff, I'm gonna craft a bunch. Nothing. Okay, where are these guys? Oh, this big guy, are you kidding me? All right, let's see how he likes these flamethrowers. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Oh! Get me out of here. All right, that actually, that handled them all pretty nice. <laughs> I gotta say. These things, I've, I've kind of been drastically, like, the more I look back, it's weird that these campus students all have, like, flamethrower attachments in their dorms, but, I mean, who am I to argue? Um, it's interesting that, as I kind of look back and, and read all your comments and stuff, uh, I, there's some things that I've, I've really been underutilizing quite a bit, like, some of these things are really powerful, and uh, especially these these Molotovs are fantastic. The uh, the nail bombs are great, but they're really loud. And the shorty, you guys are all are all pretty pumped about the shorty, and you've kind of I think that uh, I've given the impression that I've kind of written it off. Um, which oh hello. Which I have to a certain point, but I'm gonna try to use it a bit because I think up close It's uh, it's gonna be pretty rocking so This is back in our normal spot one thing I did want to say uh, I'm just gonna do a quick run around here. See if I miss anything Does this no drawers here uh, One thing I did want to say is that uh, I, I really, I appreciate all your comments and stuff, and I read, like, literally every comment. Every single one. If I don't reply, it's either because I'm really busy, or it's, it's not because I ignore you. There's some comments I ignore, um, usually when it's relating to other games, um, on a video of, you know, like this. Someone's like, oh, can you play this game? Uh, if you guys have game requests, like, you can PM me those, I don't mind. I'll just add them to a, kind of a constant backlog of games that I have, but... Um, one thing I will ask, and I don't mind if you guys kind of pick on me and, and all that, because it's all in good fun. I'm, I'm, look, I'm pretty lighthearted about that stuff. I don't really take it very seriously. But, uh, one thing I will ask is just to make sure that you respect each other. 
Uh, one thing that I've taken a lot of pride in on this channel is is in my viewers, you guys. And I've I've made mention on on numerous occasions that uh, I really think that you the viewers on this channel are like second to none in terms of a community. And I just want you guys to kind of keep that in mind and make sure that uh, that you respect each other and. I, I'm not looking for everyone to just be friends. You don't have to agree on everything. But if somebody has an opinion you don't agree with, like, if you call them, like, you know, fag, ROFL, fucker, whatever. <laughs> like, it's just, it doesn't, doesn't do anyone any good. And, you know, I just don't, I just don't like to see that stuff. So if you guys could just keep that in mind, keep the respect level up for each other. I would just personally really appreciate that. Anyways, enough of my, enough of my scolding little ones okay newspaper clipping let's get into this u.s military recalls search effort the latest uh who this is world health organization report estimating that as much as 60 percent of the world's population is either dead or infected by the cbi pandemic the united states military has released a statement that they're recalling all of their search efforts. Regions up to 10 miles from each quarantine zone's perimeter will remain under patrol for citizens attempting to enter, but no further effort will be made to evacuate those potentially trapped in hard-to-reach areas. Attorney General Arthur Munro made this clear in a letter. Found this in town. What the fuck? No one's coming. Oh, shit. Yeah, that would, that would definitely throw me into the panic mode. Nice. What do we have here for collectible, or for, uh... For upgrades, so shift master would be good. Um, I'm thinking maximum health is kind of the way to go next. That's what I think, anyways. You guys, let me know if you think otherwise, but I think maximum health is like definitely the the right decision here. And all this time, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that Ellie is just outside <laughs> watching the horse. And I'm in here, like, literally almost getting eaten by infected. So, just to put things in perspective. Alright, we've came through all this. But what I will say, uh, going back to my earlier comment, is that uh, this is probably one of the most, like, engaged series that I've ever played. Like, everybody seems really, really More into the story. Nice. Really into the story and really um, intrigued on what's going to happen. And I just, like, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. People have kind of, like, been giving me little hints and stuff, and I'm just like, ah... I'm just nervous. Alright, let's hook this thing up to the generator. Or, I can just start the generator, I guess. Maybe I have to move the generator first. Yeah? Let's put it close here. There we go. That's using your noggin boggin. There was an interesting uh, comment that somebody left about, you know, why uh, it was something about using Ellie to, to cure, pe like to cure uh, the little boy, right? Yeah. Come on through. But the, the the thing is, you got to think about is that these guys would have like, how would you even do that? You can't just like, I don't think you can just drop her blood in there, and everything would be great. You think there were fireflies? No. No, I don't think so. Why would they have infected so close to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. So, yeah. Anyways, what I was saying is that... Um, I don't think these guys would have the capability, first of all, to even have a clue where to start. Like, you can't just drop her blood into someone else and be like, Yeah, he's gonna be fine. I don't think. Uh, and then there was a lot of people debating, like, how that would actually happen, how you'd be able to cure somebody with somebody else's blood or, 
whatever it is that they'd have to do. Uh, I could ride this horse, but I kind of want to just explore and see. Uh, this is where I came out of. I just want to try not to miss anything. Um, I know you guys have been, done a good job of pointing out the things that I've missed, which is uh, really, that's cool because I think for people that are watching the first time or uh, maybe coming to the videos like for uh, tips on certain areas or whatever, uh, you guys do a good job of fleshing out anything that I've missed. I really try not to miss things. But it's kind of a balance between, like, meticulously searching every area and, um... Oh, how the hell are we gonna get past this? Meticulously searching every area and then just kind of keeping things going, right? So... Can I jump this with the horse? I don't know. I don't think this is a good idea. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> no guards. No nothing. Yeah, I'd expect to see someone by now. We're getting close because this, this is that mirror building. Let's go. Let's just do a lap here and see. Hello. Got a little, uh, shelter going on here. Don't mind if I do. Have you ever been to one of these? What, university? Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. <laughs> Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Well, that was like the first little bit of sharing that he's done. Uh, good job. Good job, Joel. Starting to open up a little bit. I don't know what you'd call these, like, tent areas. Um, like, if they were kind of set up as, like, external research tents or something. I'm not sure, but... Fireflies? Better. Doesn't look like it at this point. I'm pretty sure that I've missed um Scoot going back. an upgrade level. Like one of the uh pliers or whatever that lets you upgrade your weapons past a certain amount. Okay, we'll probably have to head in that way. This horse doesn't like stairs, apparently. Jump over barbed wire, but stairs, like, nope. Hey, what about over there? Yeah, that looks like a way in. Oh. I didn't actually even see that, Ellie. Good job. So this is all barricaded off here. I'm not sure how we're going to get in that other side either, but let's go check it out. Is there a way? <laughs> Rusted shut. We'll have to find another way. Maybe we can get over it. How are we gonna do that? I can push this car down, maybe. Or you think we should jump it? Interesting. Let me check up over here, Ellie. You just hold tight. Uh, 
This is nothing here that I can... Nothing I can move. What about this dumpster? Right here. This looks movable. Hey oh. I guess we're probably gonna have to climb that truck and get up that way. There's this yellow power cord here. Let's grab this thing again and get onto the truck. Just stay here, horse. We, uh, we might be back. I can't really make any promises at this point. Ellie, where are you? Yeah, let's get going. Oh, look, they're doing solar panel work. That's cool. I guess that makes sense. That's probably the most viable form of energy in a time like this. All right, we're inside. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. Look around. She's getting the hang of things. I like it. If only she was like, hey, over here, there's stuff. That would be great. Oh, my shorty's full. I guess that's a good problem to have. Hello? I don't know, Ellie, but, like, just screaming out random hellos is, like... <laughs> is not... I don't approve, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh! Hello, stockpile. Workbench. I feel like... I feel like there has to be... Like, a level 4 upgrade thing around here. I'm gonna look for that first. Maybe not. I don't know if they're usually in the same, uh, like if they're in, they have to be in like workshoppy type areas. Or if you can find them just in random drawers as well, but. I'm not seeing it here, so let's do some upgrades. Couple of things. Um, this El Diablo is freaking great, but I can't upgrade it to level four, so that's disappointing. Uh, let's go with the clip capacity for the shorty, and then we'll do reload speed, and let's do spread. I'm not really worried about firing it faster. The hunting rifle's maxed out for right now. The shotgun's maxed out where I want it to be. The bow reload speed would be nice. And the flamethrower I can't do anything with. So the rest I'm going to save, I guess. Because I don't really have a choice. But I really have to keep my eye out for... Uh, for an upgrade wrench. Or pliers or whatever it's called. And I feel like every one that I found has been around a workbench, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna have to pay close attention. Yoohoo! Fireflies! Here's my hand over here. <laughs> Anyone? Let's keep it down until we figure out what's going on.
All I'm looking for now is pliers. I feel like I probably jinxed myself. And because I'm so, like, focused on one thing at a time, <laughs> I'm gonna miss on something else. Or I'll miss the pliers altogether. Okay, before I go out here, let's just check this outside path. Pretty sure it just takes me, uh, loops me back around, but... Ellie, you're pretty quiet. Oh, okay. This is pretty serial. I'm gonna see if she talks about anything here with these binders. Alright, guess not. Let's just grab this thing. Nothing uh -oh. useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Oh shit. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Okay, I still want that though. And now I'm gonna go check this other area. Ellie, come with me. Because sometimes it's hard to tell uh, where things are gonna lead you. We've been in here. Oh, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna guess it's a shiv door. Absolute. Oh, yes. There we go. That makes me so happy. <laughs> we got some type of upgrade as well. Molotovs. Let's read this one. Okay. Improved radius of incendiary bombs deployment. Proper use of an incendiary device is important to ensure an effective detonation. Do not light wick until ready to throw. This reduces the likelihood of mature premature detonation. Come on. Prema come on. Are they doing this on purpose? Throwing the arc throw as high as possible uh, for maximum distribution on impact. An advanced technique is to throw with a lateral motion as with a something. The resulting rotation of the device will cause a wider dispersal something. All right, cool, I'll take it. Maybe I'm just reading too much into that, but I think all of those things have like tiny little sexual innuendos built in. Oh, what is this? 50, yes, of all rooms. This is the one right here. Let's check out our, uh, oh, we're 10 away. 10 away, okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the bench and I'm gonna make all my weapons just kick ass. Definitely going into the El Diablo. What is this thing? Oh, okay. Just practicing. Don't sweat it. Okay, let's get another shiv going. It's really quiet, and it has been for quite some time. So I imagine those noises that we heard is going to mean absolute trouble. Okay, I have 189 um, pieces that I can upgrade with. Hunting rifle upgrades the scope. I'm just, I'm gonna go straight into power for sure. The shotgun clip capacity would be nice. I'm gonna go with an increased range on the bow. Draw speed's tempting, but I'm down to 99 now. So I could go armor piercing. I think that's gonna be pretty huge. So if we do armor piercing and fire rate, or I go, I could save for scope. No. Capacity would be nice too. I'm just short of that. You know what? Let's go fire rate. Why not? 